your lawyer said that there are also jurisprudence that will you that will back you up can your lawyer now cite to us a particular case uh, i feel offended kaya nga ito na sinasabi ko eh oh by your answer mr governor through because of your lawyer ang ibig niyo sabihin pakitanong nga niyo yung lawyer ninyo ko yung lawyer ninyo ay nagsasabi siya na walang basihan pagsasagot dito pag-aralan niyo mabuti yung yung uh, kwa mo governor dahil Uh, you may be doing things outside the bounds of law at ikaw mapapasama. Well, according to my lawyers, may basihan po sila. But Then you change side, your lawyer, Mr. Mr. Governor. Side. Otherwise, you'll be hung. I was listening to the uh, interpolation of the Honorable Marcoleta. Sinasabi niya na masyadong dependent si Governor sa kanyang uh, provincial administrator to such an extent that he he was not able to uh, file his answer to the show cause order on time. Pero matanong ko nga si Governor, may kasama po kayong abogado ngayon, di po ba? You have five lawyers. Governor, um, Chairman Nakop is asking if you're with lawyers now. Yes, yes, Your Honor. You have five lawyers. Four? Four, four. Oh, nasobrahan ko. Uh, uh, Sir Governor, kung noong natanggap mo yung show cause orders, bakit kung wala yung provincial administrator mo, hindi ka nalang naghanap ng abogado dun sa probinsya mo para tulungan ka dun sa problema mo? Samantalang ngayon, nandito ka, ah, uh, To comply with the contempt and detention order of the two committees, you're with four lawyers. Kindly explain that to me. Bakit nung ikaw ay kinakailangan sumagot sa Chocos order, hindi ka makahanap ng abogado, ngayon maka, mapupunta ka rito at may kukulong ka dito sa institusyon na ito, merong apat na abogado. Sige nga po. Uh, Mr. Chair, sabi ko nga kanina, no? uh, yung provincial administrator ko and chief of staff ko ang nagsasabi sa akin ng lahat ng tumadating na correspondence. And if I am not informed about it, no? kasi sa dami rin naman, uh, mahirap kasi na sabihin ko dapat maraming trabaho if you don't accept that. Ang sinasabi ko po is uh, if I only knew na hindi makaya ni ni Attorney Charo ito from that note at hindi niya hindi niya maasikaso ito to to take it with me I may have done so no kasi may mga abogado naman akong mga pwedeng lapitan yun po ang nangyari sa akin no and that is why I was uh, dependent on her to inform me about this no because every day po lahat po kasi ng correspondence or letters or anything uh, uh, kinakounter sa inyo po sa akin. So, every day po, no, sinasabi niya rin sa akin, eto, eto, eto. Siguro, because of uh, yung mga sabay-sabay na nangyari po sa amin, really, no, uh, we may have not uh, or siguro po nakaligtaan po namin ang dapat na magawa especially for me. Especially for me. Uh, Mr. Governor, I, uh, it's hard for me to believe that. Kasi kung titingnan ko po yung inyong mga pananalita po doon sa Bombo Radio, you have been kept abreast of what's happening in the two committees. Uh, investigator po ako, Juan, uh, Governor, uh, kasi dati po akong polis. Uh, it's very hard for me to believe yung kayong uh, statement mo. Dahil, kung titignan ko, pag meron nangyayari dito, meron kang sagot doon sa Bombo Radio, sa programa mo. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, sinasabi mo pa nga na wala kang, uh, walang na walang pera yung kagayan provincial government. Wala naman kaming sinasabi na, na wala kang pera eh. Ang sinasabi namin, mali ang paggastos ninyo ng pera ng gobyerno. Yun po ang sinasabi namin. And I cannot really believe na hindi nyo alam yung nangyayari dito. 
very current po yung information nyo na nangagaling dito. And that is why you know how to answer it doon sa iyong programa. Doon sa kagayan. Ganun po yun. Di po ba? Now, let's go back to yung subjudice rule. Have you ever asked your lawyer yung advice nila kung subjudice nga itong issue na ito, yung pag, uh, hindi mo yung pagsagot mo rito sa mga katanungan namin? May I know who is the lawyer who advise you on that? That you are not supposed to speak because the issue is subjudice? Well, my lead lawyer, uh, Your Honor, is uh, Attorney Makalindal po. Pakitanong nyo nga po dun sa lawyer dahil hindi po siya pwedeng sumagot dito sa kwan na ito. Is he aware of uh, the case of Romero the, the second versus Estrada decided in 2019? Is he aware of that? Pakitanong lang po yung lead counsel nyo. He is not here today, sir. O yung may lawyer mo, kung alam niya yun. Yung apat ang lawyer nyo pong dala, eh di pakitanong lang po. Are they aware of the case of Romero II versus Estrada 2019? And Mr. Chair, uh, the governor has been a member of this house for 12 years. And maybe during those 12 years, he would have participated in investigation in aid of legislation of this nature also. And he would have known that. Otherwise, hindi po siya nag ng mga hearing dito in aid of legislation. That would be my uh, conclusion, Mr. Chair. Bob, uh, please check your lawyer if I uh, find the, you know. No, you... You are not allowed to speak. You tell God what to answer. Well, according to my lawyer, Your Honor, uh, there are also other uh, jurisprudence. jurisprudence on that, on the subject is a rule. And that is what we are also trying to is, uh, uh, impress into the is committee. Is, lawyer, is uh, your lawyer telling me that uh, the Supreme Court has different decisions in so far as subjudice rule is concerned? Is that what his, uh, your lawyers are trying to tell us here? Yes. Can you yes. cite a case related to the powers of Congress at the same time in subjudice rule with regards to inquiry in AW situation that the Supreme Court has a ruling and it affirms the uh, this procedure. Is it possible for us to submit our legal position on this matter, Your Honor? Uh, Mr. Governor. Ako po ay wala pong binabasa o ano. Uh, bakit kailangan po ng abogado ninyo na kailangan pang uh, mag-submit? Uh, may I also ask Mr. Chair, the Governor, please ask your lawyer if you're not subject to the subjudice rule when you speak about the cases against you. Please. Please go. Well, uh, according to my lawyers, I am precluded from discussing the merits and the demerits of the cases. You are precluded? Yes. Pero marami kang sinasabi doon sa Cagayan, sa Bombo Radio, regarding your case. And therefore, you can also be subjected to contempt. Hindi po ba? Hindi as your lawyer, dahil baka hindi mo alam.
Well, uh, right here I am under oath, and I could be easily, it could easily affect my case. Siguro, uh, magpag-aralan yung mabuti yung yung uh, kwa mong governor dahil uh, you may be doing things outside the bounds of law at ikaw mapapasama. Thank you, Mr. Chair. May I interject, Mr. Chair? Uh, can you your... interject, interject related Thank to you, query? Mr. Chair, yes. Uh, uh, please proceed. To, to, to follow up from the questions elicited by Kong Ako, Earlier, your lawyer said that there are also jurisprudence that will you that will back you up. Can your lawyer now cite to us a particular case that you can use that you are not covered by or you are covered by subjudice rule? What is that jurisprudence? Para para hindi ka na magapir dito. Para pantay, Mr. Chair. Kasi nag-cite ako, sila walang ma-cite. He was citing a contrary jurisprudence. A jurisprudence which is inconsistent with the one cited by Honorable Ako. Mr. T Mr. Chair, the last time I checked, the subjudice rule has no application in, in relation to the hearings conducted in Congress in aid of legislation. The Supreme Court will not or will desist from entertaining any case because it's a political question. There's no legal or there is no justiciable controversy in that. So until and unless your lawyer will be able to come up with a jurisprudence for our education that you're not supposed to appear before us, then we will stop this investigation. Hindi sabihin mo na lang ano yung case. Mag-cite ka nga ng case, Mr. Lawyer. Can you cite the case now? What case? Sige, sige. No, no, no. Uh, let the governor answer. Ang case lang naman ang iningi ni Honorable Marcoleta. To cite a legal memorandum, Your Honor. My, my lawyers are telling me that they'll cite a legal memorandum on this. Eh, bakit tayo legal memorandum sinasabi? Sabi mo kasi kanina, there are other jurisprudence that you can use na parang babangga doon sa sinabi ni Honorable Akop. Gusto ko lang naman malaman ano yun. Bakit kailangan pa ng Legal memorandum naman, ikaw naman. Go. Well, uh, so that we could uh, properly uh, discuss this because uh, it could also involve the right of self-incrimination. So is the lawyer saying that he is not prepared to give us even one jurisprudence? You are not prepared to cite one today. We can, uh, they cannot cite one today. He cannot? Yes. Oh, sige. Kailangan maging honest ka kasi, attorney. Mr. Chair. Uh, yes. I? Chairman Ako. Kasi, uh, I feel offended. Kaya nga, ito yung sinasabi ko eh. Oh, by your answer, Mr. Governor, through, because of your lawyer, when I ask you that question, you ask, uh, you're supposed to ask your lawyer kung alam niya yung kaso na yun. Ang sinabi niya, meron siyang contrary uh, jurisprudence. Ang ibig niyong sabihin, pakitanong ngayon yung lawyer ninyo, kung yung lawyer ninyo ay nagsasabi siya na walang basihan pagsasagot dito. Sinasabi niya may contrary uh, decision ng Korte uh, Suprema. Tapos wala siyang masabi. Ano yung basis niya? Well, according to my lawyers, may basihan po sila. But then you change your lawyer, Mr. Governor? 
it at this point in time, Ron. Otherwise, you'll be hung. <laughs>